Hi, this is Safari from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm going to create another layout. I'm not in my typical craft room, so I'm away for work. I'm at a hotel, so I have a limited amount of supplies that I can use. And for this layout, I'm going to have a more artistic flair to it. I am going to use, I did bring some gesso, believe it or not. I put some gesso in this mason jar. And as you notice, I have my surface padded with a plastic plus another um, craft sheet and another craft sheet just to make sure that I don't kind of damage the table in the hotel. Um, so let me show you what the products that I'm going to use. This is a doily that I created with my um, Cricut. So I'm going to use this to create like a doily effect or spritz some um, effect on the background. I did bring some of my Glimmer Mist the little ones because they fit perfect in a suitcase so I think I'm going to use this shimmer uh, spritz for this layout so I'm going to use that to mist the background and then I have not, I have not used this yet so I'm going to be using this Tim Holt um, flourish for the background as well the paper I'm trying to use up this paper by Heidi Swap so um, I still have a lot left over, but um, I'm using quite a bit of it doing all these layouts. So, and this, what I did, the interesting thing that I did with this, I wanted to create a template for mugs. I'm not really that artistic on, I don't know how to draw that much, but I did create these cups. They're pretty simple shapes that you can create and I even created a saucer for one of the cups and I went ahead and cut out a bunch of the cups here and then after I cut out I am going to trace it and I and cut a slit on top and what that's going to do I'm going to put one cup on top of the other and you'll see in a moment what I'm planning to do but so that's my, those are my cut, and I cut about eight of them. And it's gonna be on my in my layout, and I'll show you in a, in a moment how to do that. Um, and it's let me show you real quick how I made the cup because it's very easy. You just do a, an oval like this, okay. And then you just bring, you go straight down, bring a line down on both sides. And then just curve a little bit on the edge here. And then curve there. So see you get like a little cylinder, like you see there. And then just create the handle. It's very simple like that. And you can make the hand, handle bigger or smaller or whatever you want. And so your cups will be the same size because as you notice, that's not the same shape as this cup. They're different. So what I what I did is I went ahead and traced it and then cut it and I used this as my template. So that way all my cuts will be the same for my cup. So let me bring this and show you what I'm planning to do. So I already got kind of how I want my layouts. So I'm gonna put this mat, this mat measures four and a half by six and a half. And then I use my Marta Stewart cut, punch around the page to punch a little a mat. And this is gonna go right on top. These letters that you see here, the, the title's gonna be You Are My Cup of Tea. And that was used from the paper pad. So the paper pad came with this sheet and it had the same alphabet but in blue. This was on top like these. There were strips like that. So what I did is I cut the alphabet in strips and then I just took my scissors and cut out with the letter that I needed. Like you see there. Because I wanted a different font for T. And here's my font. I do have a um, Quick Cuts 
die cutting dies that I purchased a long, long time ago. And these are perfect for travel because they fit nicely, neatly in a, in a binder. And the only tool you need to cut this is this handheld tool. It's very easy to do. So you use this and um, to, to cut out your, your title, your alphabet. You can even buy shapes on these. So if you travel a lot and you like to craft on the go, this is perfect for your die cutting, your alphabets or even shapes. So I'm gonna use that. And I think I am going to put scatter some little hearts and things like that around my layout. And then this doily is made with tissue paper. So I think I may put some of this around. I'm not sure yet. But these are extra little doilies that I created some time ago. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my layout. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And I'm going to speed up the camera. Because I'm using a bold red color, I decided to outline in black. And also I'm going to take my marker and because this has a white core, you take your mark, if you take your marker and you just go over on the edge of your white core paper, it does give it a nice thin black line, um, but it, it won't be too thick. It won't distract a lot from the pieces. So here I did the same thing with all the cups. So I aligned it all my cups. And I'm ready to place this on another piece of paper because I am going to use some paint and some wet medium. And if you if you use wet medium, um, you need to use it on, on paper that's a little thick or at least double it up in my opinion. Because that way it won't bulge or it won't make it too, um, too bulky or, or, or distort it. So then I, I hear I'm applying some gesso. On this stencil. Now this stencil is from Tim Holt, but I use the the um, the piece that you throw away. Once you peel the stencil off, you have the outline of that stencil. So that's the piece that I use. And then I threw that away because I didn't really want to mess around with having to clean it um, in the hotel. And I just dried it a little bit. And I did spritz. If you saw me, I did spritz with a little bit of um, glimmer paint. And then I wiped the excess of the glimmer paint off so that way it wouldn't be too harsh. So I'm making sure everything is drying. And then now here with my teacups, I decided to form the, the rim of my teacups. And then that rim is actually going to be the area that I'm going to use to cut. But before I do that, I want to distress the edges and I really concentrate as you can see I'm concentrating on the left hand of all the cups because I wanted to give it that shadow and the shadow helps it kind of seem like it's a round object but it's, it's really not it's a flat object but the shadow really helps it kind of give it a little more rounded um, field and then here I'm just cutting all the tops or the edges around the rim and I'm actually putting a little more shadowing around that rim as well so I'm ready to place my teacups or my coffee cup, whatever you want to use. So I use here I'm using um, as a teacup, but imagine a layout using the same kind of um, cups for coffee and put in I love you a latte or something like that. I've seen cute phrases like that using the word latte. So I think that would also be another project or a card that I'm planning to do later in the future but here i'm putting i'm stacking the cups on top of each other and i'm making it not completely straight there are you know um the turn and things like that just to kind of make it seem like it's balancing um each cup, cup is balancing on top of each other so here this stamps that you see there is actually um some coffee rim stamp or the distressing stamps that I bought and these are from Kaiser Craft and I just want it because it is tea I did want and I didn't want to use a real dark ink I'm using actually um, tea dye ink or well, actually no that was vintage photo but because it's almost dry it didn't it wasn't that strong so it does look you can see a shadow of like a rim um, like a tea stain rim on my layout 
So here I wanted to use this stamp and I stamped um, some more on top and on the bottom because I wanted to use that as my foundation for grounding my letters. And I didn't want to distract from my letters, so that's why I kind of stamped real lightly those that chevrons um, on my page. So I'm just gluing all my letters, and I love this paper pack because it came with a lot of cut parts, and it also came with an alphabet. So I really enjoyed those papers. So here's a close look of my layout. And then I didn't show you, but I, at the end I did put some some hearts around my layout after I finished filming. So I hope you enjoyed this video process, and there's some more to come. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye now.